So much for family. The Kennedy family endorsing President Biden in a show of solidarity. But not everyone was happy at yesterday's event in Philadelphia. Hmm. Maddie Rivera is here with more. Hey, uh, with details. Hey, Maddie. Hey, good morning, guys. The Kennedy family is banding together to neutralize a potential weakness in the president's campaign, the threat of Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s third-party candidacy, which polls show would be more damaging to the president than to former President Trump. The campaign is especially worried about Kennedy siphoning some votes from the president in key battleground states. Check out this Fox News poll showing the president below former President Trump in several states, the president trailing the former president 39 to 46 percent in Georgia, with Kennedy at 7 percent. The margins are even tighter in Michigan and Pennsylvania. The president has a slight edge in one state, Wisconsin, beating Trump 43 to 41 percent, with Kennedy at 9 percent. Several Kennedy members have family members, rather, have criticized, criticized RFK Jr.'s candidacy. At a campaign event in Philadelphia Thursday, where 15 Kennedy family members endorsed the president, they praise his track record for working people. But not everybody was there to show support. He was still heard in the background of an interview that Kerry Kennedy had with another network. Listen here. So we need everybody to come and vote. Vote for President Biden. If you vote for somebody else, that's a vote for Trump. Don't Kennedy family members are planning to knock on doors and make calls on behalf of the Biden campaign. Lauren, Steve, Ainsley, and Brian. If you're going to yell sorry, at that is so do funny. Scream. That is mm. so funny. In the middle of her interview, you hear it. It Thank sounds you. like that, that goat on YouTube where they put the music underneath the goat's voice. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just done, but I didn't even, Wolf Butcher didn't blink an eye. No. I mean, he didn't blink at all. It's like, I'm used to the screaming. Out. Yeah. I'm like, what goes on in that newsroom that he can just withstand that? I will <laughs> <laughs> it sounds hey, like James Brown. I'm not going to lie. It was uh, noisy. By the way, they can, neither one of them can be first responders. No. You know, they have no instincts no. to save Zero. people. I know. It's Reaction just screaming time. in the background, feet so <laughs> feet away. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.